Hi everyone, this is Bonnie, as you're aware from watching my videos, she was pregnant with a singleton puppy. She only had the one puppy, which gave a lot of problems for her when it came to giving birth. <clears throat> Obviously, I was aware of that happening and I researched everything and, you know, there was a small chance that could have happened. Anyway... There was complications. She was in labour for four days. In the end, I had to take her to a vet. Now, I don't know what happened in the vets. Apparently, they told me that she started to push, but the head got stuck, and then they tried to get it out, and then they had to do a C-section for God knows what reason, obviously, to get the puppy out. But um, anyway, cut the long story short, That the rest is just history now, but... Bonnie is actually doing fine. She, I think it's been, what are we on now? May? June? Yeah, so it's been nearly two months since she had a C section. And she's doing absolutely fine. Bonnie, should we go walkies? Should we go walkies? Should we go walkies? Yes! So I've been looking after Bonnie a lot. She's been, I've been making sure she's been eating properly, good food, no dog food. I don't give my dogs dog food. They don't eat dog food. Um, obviously with me, what in dog food, there's so many different things in dog food which create um, dogs to have allergic reactions. It affects their fur because there's so many preservatives in them. It's packet food, it's tin food. You know, packet food, tin food is never always good for anyone anyway. So I just stick to natural, pure meat. Um, She likes to have mainly raw. So that's what she's been having. But I just wanted to show you. Should we have a look at your... Should we have a look at your... Come here, bunny. Come here, bunny. I'm going to show you. Look how good she is. Look how good my baby is. Look how good my baby is. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to show you her healed wound, almost healed. So, one second, Bonnie. Lie down, good girl. Lie down. So, that is her C-section. I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to touch it. So, that's her C-section healed. There is a bit of stitching here that is quite sharp which I will be ringing the vets about because I don't know why it's like that. Shouldn't really be sticking out like that. Um, but yeah, that is coming coming on nice, isn't it, babies? Isn't it, bunnies? So we did have a bit of problem. It was infected and it kept having pus coming out of it. And then she was put on antibiotics and she had paracetamol and she was having all sorts of different medication. And I had to take her back and stuff like that. Sorry about my nails. They look really disgusting. They need doing. Um, but overall, you know, the main thing is she is feeling great she's back to a normal self she's eating she's sleeping okay she's drinking okay she's playing everything is fine with her and unfortunately we, we did lose a little baby boy we named him solo we had to bury him we wanted to bury him in the garden which we did we didn't really show her that she had a baby because they spayed her at the same time so she would have not had any hormones left in there for her to even know that she was pregnant. Um, so we just didn't bother showing her the baby. Otherwise, it would have like it would have been in her her mind or memory. I mean, I don't know with dogs and how they remember things or you know, but I do know that they've got feelings. So we just didn't want her to know about it, which is the best thing that we ever did. So that was the update on Bonnie. She's back to a normal self. She does this thing with a leg. So if you go, pretend to go nearer, it's like she wants to lift her leg up. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? 
What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Anyways, guys, I just wanted to update you on Bonnie. And that's her updated situation. She's perfectly fine. Everything's healing well. She's eating, drinking, and doing everything as normal. And back to a normal dog. So she will not be able to have puppies anymore. And um, that is about it, really. But... Um, yeah, if you've got any questions or anything about single puppies or anything like that, let me know. I can answer them. I do sometimes believe that there was a little small chance if I'd kept her home for an extra hour or maybe two, I would have definitely, definitely been capable of delivering that puppy. But we can't keep going back to what if for what if. That's not what we can keep going back to because we just you can't just dwell on that continuously. Otherwise, you're not you're just gonna always just beat yourself up on it so <clears throat> yeah that is it really but thank you for watching everyone